Attention, external access confirmed. Disengaging stasis in 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Releasing hatch. Please stand clear. Hey there. Looks like you're all in one piece. Careful. Just take it nice and slow, okay? Your senses will need time to reactivate. Your pod is the only one around that landed intact. Good thing I found you. My name's Elma. You want to tell me yours? You don't even remember your own name? It must be the stasis hangover. That's not good. Just try and focus, all right? Good, there we go. What else you remember? It'll come. In the meantime, I'll get you up to speed here as best I can. How are your limbs? Can you move? We'll take it easy while you shake the stasis out of your system. One step at a time, all right? First things first, you'll be needing a weapon. There you go. All right, let's get going. Most of the white whale's life pods didn't survive the crash. Like this one. You're one of the lucky few. Right. You don't even remember the White Whale, do you? You know, the L002? The ship we escaped Earth on? You remember Earth, right? Planet Earth. Your homeworld. Or rather, it used to be anyway. Unfortunately, it was caught in a battle between two alien forces. And destroyed. Ring any bells? Don't feel bad. It's one memory I'd like to forget. I know. It's been following me for a while now. I didn't want to alarm you, but we're going to need to defend ourselves. You up to the task? Hmm. 
You're not half bad. There's plenty of work back in the city for someone who knows how to handle a weapon, you know. Then you're interested. In that case, I might have just the job for you. But anyway, we can talk more details later. For now, let's keep moving. Rain's starting to let up, just in time for sunrise. Follow me. I promise you're gonna love this. Indigenous, as far as we can tell. We need to learn to play nice with these guys if we're going to try and coexist together. Call this planet Mira. You won't find it on any star chart. But it's our new home. Recognize the habitat unit? That's where we're headed. Watch yourself. That first step's a doozy. We can jump if you like. You could handle the fall. But the indigens down there are another story. Some big, some mean, all nasty. Given our options, the high road here would be the safer way to go, relatively speaking. That said, whichever way you want to go, I'll follow your lead. You decide. Looks a lot bigger up close, doesn't it? And this was just the habitat unit. The White Whale was one hell of a ship. Until it all came crashing down, at least. That's the West Gate. It's closed off now for security reasons. But we've repurposed a freight elevator that will get us inside. <laughs> Riled. We can't leave them roaming here. 
Not this close to the gate. We're gonna have to take them down. You ready? It's a shame we had to settle near so much wildlife. Luckily, some species aren't so hostile, but they aren't necessarily friendly either. I've come to learn that there's a fine line between self-defense and provoking a fight. We need to walk that line. All right, let's head in. Who knows, maybe seeing the inside will jog your memory. Well, here we are. Not too shabby, huh? For a giant beached spaceship, anyway. But, like it or not, this place is our home now. We took the name from the city it was modeled after back on Earth. We call it New Los Angeles. Welcome to NLA. And so it was that another survivor came to join our band of refugees. Together, we resolved to forge a new way of life here on Mira, come what may. New LA was our beautiful lie to ourselves. Truth is, we were adrift, heading into the unknown. Our native home was gone, swallowed in a shroud of light. And our future was uncertain. We had no idea what fate lay in store for us. Only that we had to keep living in order to see it. <laughs> <laughs> 